hey y'all what is up okay boom so let's jump straight into this video this is what came in the packaging and we are going to be using amazon wig from ally moon beam okay i have a lace front body wave 20 inch wig and this is what is looking like straight out of the package come with three combs and elastic band and um i wouldn't say the wig is pre-plugged i can't even remember yeah but the density is good in the front that you don't even have to do extra plucking so the first step first we're gonna do with some pink roots so i just got some white conditioner from Cantu, and then we got this pink um adore cotton candy y'all i like i told y'all in previous video i got so much hair dye i'm gonna use these hair dyes and get some uses out of them okay so i just poured some a whole bunch of conditioner and then some cotton candy in the mix and then i felt like it was giving too pastel so i'm gonna keep adding keep adding keep mixing keep mixing but eventually y'all gonna see me add another color and i feel like i just added that fruit punch oh no the clip coming up see look at me i'm too ahead bruh so this is the color was looking like right now and okay boom pink petal i thought i used free free punch but i did not i used the pink petal instead and i added that as well into the mix so i'm just making a concoction at this point it's like i know the shot i want to go but then i don't know the shot. so i'm just mixing it until i feel like you know it looks good really to be honest so that's all i did just mix some pink hair dye and some conditioner the more conditioner and the less color will be more pastel and then obviously the more color the more vibrant but i feel like i got a a great boast of best of both worlds best of both worlds to mix <laughs> one thing i mean i can never talk man when i be talking i talk so fast and that's how i always be tons i like ooh, uh, but y'all be understanding me so what i'm doing is adding roots to this wig all i'm doing is taking me a little fine tooth um not a fine tooth but rat tail comb and i'm just literally adding roots to the wig literally so flex so self-explanatory just make sure that you like i'm using that brush blending out that dye so you ain't getting harsh line like an indication because that ain't it you need to blend into the blonde like i understand we're doing roots but use your brush and feather out the color come on now we've been doing this for too long okay and so we have a nice transition because that blotchiness that ain't cute like the colors need to transition nicely you need to fade it don't need to be a hard you know line of demarcation so that's all i'm doing is doing a whole frontal part just making sure that that's picking roots the hair in the back don't have to be colored at all don't even worry about touching it it's good so right now what i'm doing is um finishing this last bit of pieces and then i'm gonna just go back in and just making sure everything is blended it's a nice transition so y'all see me coming out of the hair just seeing where the color fall if i need to add any more and just you know applying any missing area so i'm just going through the hair again refining any mistakes or looking for any mistakes just so that the color has a nice blend and it's saturated so y'all just see me parting and fixing it up or and all that okay so i'm gonna go ahead and let this wig sit for overnight babes this is what it looked like overnight i don't even think i put a bag on the wig i probably did probably did it can't remember but this is what it looked like pretty dried and one thing about it, I could say when you add conditioner to your dye, when I say you, it instantly like catches, it catches like in an instant. So all I'm doing right now is rinsing out this wig in some cool water and the roots is rooting baby. And now I'm gonna use some hot water and then I'm gonna pour in some cool water so it could be like a little warmish so I could put my hands in it. So not spiking hot, but not cold. Okay, boom. And y'all already know the deal when it comes to Ash Blonde. I'm gonna go ahead and get my shimmelash shampoo, pour it in the thing and make sure you mix it up, mix it up, mix it up. And I'm gonna pour that wig right in and not pour it, but drop it in there. I did not wanna make sure I, I made sure I did not get the pink roots wet when I poured it inside the um mixture because I didn't want to get tinted and I didn't want the hair color to be to turn fuchsia because y'all know pink and purple make fuchsia baby and that ain't the color i was going for we're going for pink so i had to make sure the water was not hit um hitting it out so you'll see i got the, like the wig elevated a little bit making sure 
So I said, boom, I'm finna let it sit for five minutes. And I think that's all it needed. Certain um blonde wigs catch off faster than the others. Like this wig, I had to keep going in there, keep going in and refine it. Because you could already see it's already giving like a, you know, grayish looking tone. The hair don't never be gray, but it just shows that how much, you know, the purple shampoo toned out all that yellow. So it literally, this wig, if you want to tone it, it's some good hair to tone. And it go take up uh, almost an hour. Because some blonde wigs, especially if it's a larger density amount, it just takes so long to get the hair saturated. But this wig was pretty quick. I don't remember the density. Y'all go check that out. But let's get on to the next step while they're rambling. So, ball cap already balding. And then I'm going to take my alcohol and clean off the front of my head. Yeah, you know the vibes. You know what's going on. Make sure it's clean because we're about to use this EBIN. Like I said, he said my first time using this glue. And I'm trying it out with y'all. And, um, yeah, so I'll go ahead and... After you use the alcohol, I got all my foundation out of the way. You want to make sure we're working on a clean surface. Add that glue. Take your rat tail comb and smooth it out. But we're still adding the glue. So you can see I didn't fast forward yet. There we go. Okay. So take the um, rat tail comb and, you know, thin out the layers and then after it turns clear then you're going to add your second layer and then the second layer is when I like to take my index finger and go ahead and smooth it out I think I only did use two layers being that this is supposed to be like an ash cream ash cream hoe so I didn't even bother doing three and usually on myself I kind of only do two layers because I have fits my hair whenever like two layers is kind of all I need so now we're going to go ahead and then apply the wig onto the lace directly on top Make sure everything is lined up. Give y'all a close demonstration. And secure the wig, take that red tail and make sure I press it inside. Not press it inside, but press it against the glue so that it's adhering. Got a nice hole with a blow dryer on some warm heat. Warm and cool heat, I like to alternate. I do both warm and cool heat to um, secure the adhesive with the wig. And then I'm gonna take my razor and my tweezer and move the excess lace okay and boom while i imagine this wig is on here and please check out this pull test raw and uncut and it's just with two layers with this adhesive and i'm just showing y'all it say it's strong and y'all see my skin even pull i'm like whoa like i'm even kind of hurting myself doing this trying to show y'all like that baby is stuck on there and it's giving out the scalp oh okay okay you look good go goody all right boom so now i want to take our elabelle melt band yes if you don't have one get you one babes because you have to have your elabelle melt band you want to be melted like the melt mother herself like period melt it lace me please go ahead put that melt band on and i just love to let the melt band sit at least a minimum of five minutes and then at this point this is when you could go ahead and um style your wig we are not doing any baby hairs in this tutorial not necessary and you know i'm kind of like a not a baby hair girl but i am but i'm not you know what the vibes is it depends on your girl boo but it's giving no baby hairs and right now i'm gonna take that hot comb and i'm gonna cover the track of the hair um the, the first track of the wig like in front of the lace you know cover the track yeah i get it watch what i'm doing and i'm taking my styling spritz and um spritzing it into place so that i make sure it's a good hole and then i'm gonna take the hot comb and just flatten it out i kind of don't use wax stick anymore like i ain't gonna say i don't use it at all, at all, at all but my chances to use a wax stick is like a 20 percent 30 percent thing like i've kind of transitioned into the whole styling spritz you know to melt down um getting the laces flat and with the hot comb so that's my new combo. The wax still gonna hit. I just don't do it as often anymore. So definitely styling spritz first and then hot comb your wig. And baby, it's time to take off this melt bed. And what is it giving? Is it giving? What y'all think? It look good? Lace is lacing. Melt is melting. Out the scalp vibes. Ow. Ooh, ooh! I know that's right. Yeah, it's the roots for me. The combo just gives. Uh, can y'all imagine this wig? If I did not tone, it would have been given yellow, yellow, yellow and pink. 
giving sunshine, lemonade. But this ash blonde though, and it's pink, it just goes together. Cause one thing about me, I'm finna talk my blonde hair. Six thirty, who? Mm. Mm, so yeah, I'm just playing with the hair, feeling myself. Then I'm listening to whatever song I'm listening to. Yeah, talk your issues. Uh huh. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Uh huh. Da mm mm mm. So yeah, music break. Boom. So now we're gonna go ahead and begin styling. I thought I was styling when I had that melt band on, but maybe I didn't, y'all. But y'all definitely could style your hair when um you had the melt band on. Why I didn't do it, I don't remember, but. That's nor here nor there, okay? So, for my barrel curls, I am going to spray the free spray. I just think the free spray with barrel curls just help the curls last longer, especially when it's body wave hair. It's just a great combo. So, use a free spray. You could just spray it all over or do it each section. I kind of just sprayed it all over being that. It was like, the wig is full, but it's not. So, I was able to get it in like one take. But if you don't know how to barrel curl, I do have a dedicated video of how to barrel curl, specifically for barrel curl, so you can master the skill, okay? So if I didn't put it in the eye card above right here, as I probably will, check in the description box and watch that video if you don't know how to barrel curl. And babes, I'm just barreling, curling straight off the muscle. No layers. I mean, not no layers. Well, yeah, no layers. No cutting, no layers. It's just... Straight curling, barrel curl, wrist work, give me Daisy. What? I don't even know the name. Who would have me looking like this? It'd be like them old YT people back in the day. They used to be like curly, curly. I'm just taking a little highlighter, pink highlighter, and just defining my part a little some. Getting close to the scalp. So then next, we're going to take my Y2 Handy Danny Purple Y2 Comb. I got this from like Walmart a couple years ago. I love this comb. It's my favorite color. Lilac, yeah. So pretty. Lavender. Mm -hmm. Light purple vibes. Okay, boom. And we're just going to go ahead and comb out these curls. Curls for the girls. We're going to just comb them out. Okay. And y'all just see how it's just falling. Like, it's just going where it need to go. Curl it back and do a little push and a little huh and a little ooh. man. What is up? Do y'all see that? Don't play with me. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Uh 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 uh. Yeah. What's up? What's up? Boom boom. Don't 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 don't. I love sound boom. But don't but don't boom boom boom. Okay. Yeah. It's giving. I'm feeling myself. I'm also making. You know. Uh. Real as well, so you know, we got the phone on the side, you know, you know, the vibes recording two pieces of content, super dupes, cute. I live, I look good, but I look good. I'm banging, mm -hmm. classy, a little hood, yeah. So now I'm finna just do another style and I just decided to do a little twist so y'all could just see the placement of the roots, which y'all kind of already know. And I'm just showing y'all what it looks like with the hair pulled back out of my face. And we love a hair being pulled back out of your face. It just shows your future, your beauty. It just, it just shows like face car don't never decline. It's never giving a decline. It's always giving approved, baby. And then I decided to do another style, and I did do a half up, half down, babes. And, um, of course, I didn't, like, super mold the wig and all that for the half up, half down. Me and I was going to keep it in this style, but I just put it up in a little cute dude. Y'all can still see. I kind of got the middle part. Well, not kind of. It's obvious. And I just did a little waterfall, a little half up, half down, giving y'all that kind of look. And then the last style I am going to do is a little braid. I was trying to do fishtail vibes, but at this point I was kind of like over it. So I just did something real cute, real quick. Y'all know how they be adding the braids to the side? Yeah, vibes. Okay, period. Mwah. All right, y'all. So the plan is for this video, 
I really hope y'all enjoyed this. I'm feeling it so much. Y'all know I'm really feeling it. I just gave y'all like three different styles, four different styles. I'm loving this wig. It's definitely giving body wave hair because these curls is giving everything. Y'all see, I did not do no layers, which I probably said in a voiceover. But we finna see how this glue holds up. This is my first time applying this EBIN. Um, Wonder Lace Bond Active Extreme Firm Hold. The red bottle I done got put on by TikTok. The girls on TikTok been raving about the spray. I never even tried the whole spray because they was like, you could put the whole spray for the EBIN brand the whole spray gonna lay your wigs down um for two days at least minimum like a glueless kind of thing i didn't get into the sprays yet because i ain't gonna put my wig down with no damn spray like i actually want adhesive on my wigs i like my wigs to be secure secure you know but i'll probably try it if i was to get a closure wig and try it out to see what that was about but you know i'm a glue girl so they said the glue is what see it i'm trying to glue um they do have other um levels but this is the extreme firm hold active meaning it's waterproof and perspiration resistant latex free and it's active plus 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 i definitely update y'all regarding how this hold up at the gym ghost mind do me good at the gym my weight collects at least two weeks with my melt band and that's the only thing i use my elabelle melt band that's on the floor right now which y'all know shop Link in the bio. Y'all seen me use it earlier in this video. So I'll check y'all out in the next video. My job is taking over. We still at it. We still going. We ain't letting up. This foot on their necks. Applying all the pressure in the bag of chips. Where it said, where it happened. Okay, yeah. Bit to YAH. Yeah. Y'all better gang, taking over ahead of all baddies, the real melt mother, the one and only melt mother. <laughs> Yeah, like what's up? What, what was said? What they got going? A motherfucking thing, you know? Official girl, official girl. I want you, my official. Mm, see. And this little was inspired by my mama, Onika Tanya Mariah. Shout out to the queen, New York. Stand the fuck up. All right, it's time to go. Bye. Okay, hey y'all, what's up? So I just wanted to come real quick, y'all, yeah, because I'm kind of in a rush. I just wanted to give y'all an update. So it's been a week and four days, and my lace is still on. So we do have a little bit of lifting right here in the front, as y'all can see. And then the wig is definitely sliding back. It's been a week and four days since I had this wig on. It is starting to slide back because I know it's not placed where I put it at. But definitely, is it still stuck on there? Yes, and I really don't even want to pull too much. Cause it's sliding back, you know, you know, on my hair, but it's definitely the wig is definitely still stuck on here. Ain't no movement. The only movement is it sliding back, but as far as hold adhesive, it's still on there. I am about to go do an outside workout, so I am gonna wear my melt bed. Let's see how that works out. I really ain't trying to sweat out the wig, but if it does sweat out, which I actually don't even mind that much, cause I kind of want to like refreshing it up, so it's lined up and stuff like that. We'll see. But for a week and four days, the wig is doing good. Like the tabs ain't lifting or nothing like that. Yeah, the tabs ain't lifting. Yeah, it's still on there. Cause you know, the tabs be the first place to come up. This wig, the hole and i've been to the gym i have been to the gym like five times six times once with this unit in my head so that just proves to show it's kind of doing what it's supposed to we i'm gonna definitely give you another update or maybe a whole separate review like the take down how good is it with taking down like did my edges come out because goes my no take out my edges so we'll see